Welcome to the Charlie the Chicken Flame Tutorial Series. We currently have Charlie running around a mobile app screen and he's not interacting with these pineapples or these uh, obstacles right now. So first we're going to have to add these object layers onto Tile D in order to get Charlie have some interaction with them. So under the layers panel of Tile, there's tile layer and it's also object layer. So this one's kind of a purplish pink. We're going to select the object layer. We'll call one of the object, object layers obstacles. And the other one will be fruit. So first I'm going to select the decoration uh, layer here and I, we kind of hard coded these pineapples on initially. So I'm going to first delete them and then put them on a different layer here. So we're going to create another tile there. I'll call it invisible fruit. We're going to make this thing invisible and we'll select our fruit again. It's a good looking pineapple. Then we're going to go into the fruit object layer. So this is a purplish pink one. And we're going to use this rectangular box here. We're going to draw around the boxes, the pineapple. We're actually going to hide the pineapple, so click on the eye here. Once we have our pineapple set, we're, we'll click on the eye and make it invisible. We're going to add it from within the flame game. Let's go to our obstacle there and check the rectangular select tool. And we're going to block out all the portions that are our obstacles here. Okay, then we're going to save it once we have all the obstacles. We're going to save it with the fruit being invisible here. That fruit is just so that you can see it during the map development. Let's save it. Right now, if we reload our map, there should be no difference here. There should be no errors. Everything should look fine. However, if you look at the actual map here, 
kind of scroll down. There's these new layers here. And there's a whole bunch of the coordinates for the obstacles and the fruit. So each one of these coordinate systems is going to be a fruit. We're going to read it in using the tiled package and then populate the, the screen with the obstacles so that we can detect a collision with George, uh, Charlie the chicken and the obstacle or the fruit. So in the next video, we'll add some collision detection to both Charlie and the pineapple. And when we collide, or, or, when Charlie collides with the pineapple, he'll be able to eliminate it. This is using the collision detection system of Flame. So subscribe to the channel and you'll see this next video come up. And uh, have a great day. Goodbye.